guys! Today I'm going to be going over my makeup collection. This video has been highly requested by friends and subscribers. Hi, Italia! So, if you want to see all the goodies in my collection, then you know what to do. Okay, here is my vanity. This is from the Bombay Company. So, I have a bird trash can. This is from Walmart. I spent like six or seven dollars on it and I just thought it was really cute. And this is just my old Lori Grainer makeup storage down there. I don't really use it anymore because it was just too bulky and big. And this is just a little bag I got from TJ Maxx. Marshalls actually. It's floral and I just put miscellaneous stuff in here. I have a Walgreens bag with some makeup that I haven't gone through yet. Just a, a crossbody bag and just a notebook that I write my video ideas in. This is my immediate makeup application area. This is like my everyday go-to stuff. So I have my brushes on the left, and this is just my Sigma travel brush holder. There's uh, miscellaneous brushes in here, and I also have an extra one because two wasn't enough. This is just a tweezer man. Eyelash curler, that's the package it came in. I just kept it for a brush holder. And basically my liquids I store in this little basket, and I got this at Marshall's. So I have some MAC brush cleaning spray and I put it in my own little container because if you leave it in the regular container it comes in it does not have a spray bottle and you tend to use more product so it's wise to put it in a spray container. You will use a lot less product and it will last much longer. I have the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix spray. It's kind of like the MAC Fix Plus. Same concept. I have the Urban Decay De Slick the oil control makeup setting spray. I have an old school vintage bottle of MAC Fix Plus. Mine has just lasted forever and it still works. I have the Beauty So Clean Makeup Sanitizer Mist. Absolutely love this. Definite must in my collection to get rid of all the germies on my makeup. And Philips Milk of Magnesia for oil control. Love it. And recently I purchased another beauty blender, another must-have in my collection. And as I said before, these are my everyday essential items that I just use and go to over and over. So I'm going to start with the left side and work my way to the right. On the left side I have powders. This is the Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Talc-Free Powder in the shade Translucent. I have the Positions Formula Mineral Wear Talc Free Face Powder in Translucent Light. I have the Sephora Mineral Foundation Powder in the shade D10. I don't even know if they make that anymore. I have the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Light. I have the Glow Minerals. Glow Loose Base in the shade Natural Fair. I have the Smashbox Photo Set Press Powder in the shade Fair. I also have the Smashbox Contouring Kit. There's uh, no specific color. This is for all skin tones. So it has a highlighter, a bronzer, and a contour. Makeup Forever HD Definition Powder. Sephora Mattifying Foundation, non-mineral version in the shade 10 light. Dermablend Professional Setting Powder in the original, which is like translucent. Okay, in the middle is my eye product, so I have a Tweezerman eyelash curler. I have the Urban Decay Eyelash Primer Potion. I like that a lot and I have the Maybelline XXL Pro Volumizing Mascara. I have a primer on one side and the mascara on the other. Got this at Big Lots. 
And over that I usually use the Maybelline Illegal Lengths Mascara, just any good lengthening mascara over volumizing. Old mascara wand from another mascara just to separate the lashes. Two sets of tweezers. One is Anastasia, which is my favorite all-time tweezer. It beats Tweezer Man. I don't know how, it's just a lot sharper than the Tweezer Man. It grabs a lot better for me. And I have my three eyeliners that I go to for work. I have the L'Oreal Smoldering Eyeliner in gray, and I have the MAC Eyecol in Smolder, which is just a black, and then I have Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Demolition, which is like a rich brown. So I keep those here for easy access. Okay, in the back I have all my primers and concealers, so I have some samples here. From Sephora, I have the Benefit Professional and the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. And they seem to be okay. I think I like the Benefit one a little more. The Too Faced Primed and Poreless still made my face makeup kind of move around. Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Urban Decay Primer Potion. Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Eden. And MAC Paint Pot and Painterly. So I have a lot more of these paint pot things, but this is my go-to one for every day. I have the CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless Eye Ageless <laughs> CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless Eye Corrector in the shade. I think it's 230. I think there's only one shade in this. Love this for under the eye. I have the Clarins Instant Smooth Perfecting Touch Primer. It's okay in my opinion. I don't absolutely love it. It's okay for me. Just trying to use it up. MAC Prep and Prime Fortified Skin Enhancer Illuminator in the shade Neutralize. Absolutely love this. Can't live without. Oh. Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk from NYX. In the wrong place. Glow Minerals. Glow Camouflage in the shade Beige. MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NW15. This is my Holy Grail Concealer. Just discovered it and I love it. Murad Oil Control Mattifier in SPF 15. With SPF 15, not in SPF 15. This is just okay for me. Tarte Clean Slate Poreless 12 Hour Perfecting Primer. I think I do like this one. Skin Perfect Gel Primer in the shade Luminous. I like this a lot, but it's very pricey, so this is the sample, not the sample size, but the small size. The L'Oreal True Match Concealer in the shade N123, which is Fair Light. This is pretty good. I wouldn't say it's outstanding, but it's it's pretty good for drugstore. The L'Oreal Magic Lumi Concealer in the shade Light Pale. This is not all that. I'd rather try the one from Maybelline Dream Lumi, I think they call it. This doesn't really do a darn thing for me. I have to use multiple products to get it to work well. I have the Smashbox HD Concealer in Fair, and I have Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer in the shade number 3. Over here are my foundations and my eyebrow stuff. So I'll start here. Well, actually, this is a primer. It stands up by itself, so I kind of put it with all the other foundations. This is the Lorac Aqua Prime Primer. This is okay for me. Nothing spectacular. Makeup Forever Matte Velvet in the shade... I think this is Ivory. It's like number 20. Derma Blend Smooth Indulgence Foundation in the shade Natural Beige. Glow Minerals. This is a tinted moisturizer, and this is the lightest shade that it comes in. It rubbed off. Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream in the shade Fair. I do like this. Smashbox Studio Skin in the shade 1.1, which is the lightest one. Revlon Color Stay Foundation for normal to dry skin in the shade 150 Buff. Love this. This is holy grail for me. Makeup Forever HD Foundation in the shade Marble 117. I like that as well. L'Oreal True Match in the shade Light Ivory Warm. This is okay for me. Nothing great, great. 
And just some foundation samples. Okay, I've got a few pencil sharpeners. I have the Sonia Kashuk one. I really like it. It's got one for big pencils and small pencils. And I have Mirabella for giant pencils. And then I have a Sephora one. So I use one for lips and one for eye products to keep them separate. Okay, and for brows, I use this Anastasia Brow Kit. I don't remember which kit this is exactly, but this Anastasia brand is my favorite for eyebrows. I've tried tons of other brands, and Anastasia, to me, works the best, is the most natural. So um, I put my own scissors in here. I don't think it came with scissors. These are Revlons. I put my Brow Wiz in here in the shade Medium Ash. I have the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I have her Brow Powder Duo in Ash Blonde Taupe. I also have one in Brunette. I have the Brow Fix, or Brow Wiz, I think it's called. Brow Wax is what it is. And I have the two-sided spoolie with a Brow Powder Applicator brush. Plain Spoolie, MAC Coquette, sometimes I use this to fill in my brows too, I just threw it in there, and a MAC Concealer to clean up my brows if need be in NW15, this Wet n Wild um, Brow Wax, and it comes with um, a pencil on the other side, and this brow wax is impressive, I got this at Ross. And I was, I'm very impressed with it. It works pretty good, just as good as the Anastasia one, in my opinion. I also have the Anastasia brow gel that's tinted in brunette. Nice way to add some color to your brows, like a highlighting color. Concealer brush to clean up. I have the Rimmel Professional Eyebrow Pencil in dark brown. It's okay. And I have a kind of a flat square brush. I sometimes use that to apply my shadow to my brows. And I have brow stencils. Off to the side, I have my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. And it's a mess. It's a hot mess. It exploded or, I don't know, it just broke. I'm going to talk about this in another video. It's still holy grail for me. I like the way it, it works. They just need to fix their packaging because it's not the first one that is acted up on me so I keep it off to the side and then this little basket right here is just strictly uh, sponges and I have an Urban Decay to Slick in a tube mattifying gel. I put it in a bag because it it has glitter on the words and it just rubs off and then I get that on my face and I don't like that. Okay so I just usually keep a little rag in front here so I don't get all this makeup all over my vanity and just you know usually like a tissue and I have one drawer here which is like my my go-to shadows for every day so the first one is the Boudoir Eyes from Too Faced and I have the Sonia Kashuk Eye on Neutral palette love it's a must-have in my opinion MAC Omega which is like my top transition color shade for every day. I absolutely am obsessed with this. I've repurchased it over and over and the Urban Decay Naked Basics. And I have a mirror. And I have the Smashbox Photo Op Mega Palette from QVC. Another mirror. Some tape for my eyes just in case I want to do something crazy with them. Nail file and some sponges.